Hello and welcome to Dawn Chorus Writes, a miraculous ladybug fan fiction and audio fiction. This is a new story for Marishat Monday and it is inspired by two images. One, the beautiful stunning artwork by Dory used in the thumbnail, so massive shout out to her. All her information is down below, but also some of the little snippets and the spoilers of um, Adrianette from multiplication but you don't have to watch that episode to and it doesn't spoil anything this is my interpretation of it afterwards or a scenario so i hope you enjoy and uh, make sure you give send me some love by smashing that like button comment down below what you think of it and make sure you subscribe so you do not miss out on other stories, other one shots and other series that are happening at the moment. And enjoy. Buttercup is who? Adrian is determined to discover who Buttercup is. Kid, I don't think it's a good idea. Plaid groaned, sitting on the bed next to the tray filled with cheese brought up for his supper. Adrian paced back and forth, rolling the basketball around his hands. Plag, I don't know what else to do. For weeks now I have tried talking to Marinette and show her how much she means. You mean the daily attempts at the morning kiss? Plag sniggered as he kissed the chunk of cheese in his paws. Adrian paused and glared at his gluttonous buddy, tempted to throw the ball at him and knock over the plate, distracting away from the embarrassed blush forming across his cheeks. Okay, not like that, just the friendly hello kind, but yeah, I want to get close to her, but every time I do, she finds an excuse or pushes away. He resisted the urge and kept rolling the ball wishing it was a magic eight one, hoping it would give him the answer. Adrian, this is Marinette we're talking about, who falls over words as much as her feet, who is bashful, who is always there for me, and it's thanks to her I could talk to my father. She is special to me. He couldn't help the wide, goofy grin spread across his lips at the mere thought of her. Then why not ask her out on a date then? Officially? Not become Detective Noir again? Adrian rolled his eyes and let out a long breath. If it was that simple, don't you think I would have done that by now? I can't tell. Something is holding her back. Maybe she doesn't feel the same way. Only wants to be friends. Or... How a few months ago she practically confessed her feelings to me, well, cat me, she had called him Buttercup? Why does he get to have a cute nickname? And who is this person, anyhow? Do you think she might have confessed already? But then again, on top of everything else, she seems pretty distracted at the moment. Aren't you too? With that evil Kwame snatching, wait until I get my catalysm on him guy loose around Paris? Aren't you focused on that task with Ladybug? Speaking of the bug, yes, Kat is focused on Monarch and saving the Kwamis, and I want to be the best partner I can be for Ladybug. So, what, you using Marinette to get over Ladybug? Because if so, that wouldn't be fair. Plague! You know me better than that. I would never act like that to either one of them. But whilst we were fighting Risk, I realized something and I told Marinette how I really felt about my father and the whole situation and she listened. She knew before I spoke. She was there for me like she always is and there it was, as clear as day from night how much I would miss her if I left on the trip. Compared to any of my other friends, I realised how much I cared about her and how it had been overshadowed by Ladybug. I get it, but you want to visit her as Cat? 
And what? You want her to confess her feelings? Confess who Buttercup is? Well, yeah, sort of. But in a less creepy way, you are making it sound like. And what if you're not Buttercup, kid? Then what? Adrian shrugged his shoulders and stared at the ball. Then I will still be there for her. Like you are for the bug. Be her partner? Of course I will. It won't change my feelings, and yet... You're forgetting the chance that she might like me? I am willing to wait, take it slow, and build up from friendship. Then wait, kid. Going as cat is asking for trouble. Try speaking to her at school tomorrow. Take her a token gift. Cheese always works, but not mine. Don't use my cheese. Plague shot him a glare before hugging his cheese tight against him, muttering something underneath his breath. I'm not going to win Marinette over with a chunk of cheese, Plague. She isn't a stinky, bottomless pit like you. No, I will play it cool, act like I'm stumbling across a balcony and simply ask her how she's doing and go from there. It's a good plan. Plague cackled. <laughs> you? Cool? Who do you think you are? Top cat or something? Buddy, you really need to stop watching the cartoon channel. Adrian smirked back. Plus, I'm way cooler than that guy. No, it's gonna work and it'll be all fine. He dropped his voice and muttered to himself. I need to find who Buttercup is if I stand a chance. The light was on in Marinette's bedroom, but she wasn't out on her balcony like she had been all the other times he'd dropped by and talked to her. Was he cat? Friends enough to simply drop by and knock on a window? Or does he wait and hope that at some point she'll come out to get some fresh air? Cat paced across the roof where the billboard had once stood of him and Ladybug kissing, and she had called him over to practice her confession. Had the image of him and Ladybug convinced Marinette that he had been a safe bet? That he wasn't interested in her? Resulting in the opposite in happening. Finding himself wishing he was the one hearing the words as Adrian or as Cat. But not Buttercup. Lost inside his own inner debate, Cat had failed to notice that Marinette had emerged out onto the balcony and was staring at him with a soft smile. Kitty? Is everything okay? Marinette called over. Marinette! Yeah, yeah, yes, f everything is fine. Oh, why shouldn't it be? He knew a dark blush peeked out underneath his mask as the girl he was falling for burst out laughing. Yeah, that wasn't smooth nor cool. Black might have been right. He ain't no top cat. In that case... Do you want to pop over? My mom made some fresh lemonade today. Fresh from the fridge. Perfect for a muggy summer night like this one. She replaced the giggle that caused his heart to sing with a gentle smile and raised eyebrows. How could I say no to that invitation, princess? He pulled out his baton and leapt across as she ducked back through the open window. He debated whether he should sit or stand or lean casually against something. No, he wasn't Adrian right now. He was Cat, and he wasn't confessing his feelings to her. He was here as a friend. Instead, he found himself resting against the railings, staring out across the city. He had to admit, she did have a great view. No wonder she loved this spot. It's pretty magical, isn't it? She said softly behind him, whilst handing him a glass of cloudy lemonade. The sharp citrus scent was a lovely addition to the beautiful glow of the dying sun. But nothing compared him for the sight before him, turning round to see the same glow, highlighting Marinette perfectly, making her sparkle. Pat let out a cough as her hand rested on his back, patting him gently in response. 
Sorry, should have warned you that my mum likes the sudden spark of sour before the sweetness settles in. It's not to everyone's taste, but I like it. No, <clears throat> it's great, really refreshing. He tried to convince her with another mouthful, holding back the desire to pull a distorted expression as a lemon hit the sour spot on his tongue. Good. She twizzled the metal straw in her fingers. It might not be any of my business, cat, but is everything okay? You looked a little distracted before? What? That? No, I'm good. Just restless, I suppose. Hot night. Couldn't settle. Yeah, I get that, she muttered, taking another sip. Are you alright, princess? Are you feeling a little restless too? He leaned in a little closer, nudging his shoulder against hers, hoping it would make her feel more comfortable that she was with a friend. I suppose you could say that. I have a lot on my mind recently. Anything I can help with? You know I'm a good listener. <sighs> I know you are, Kitty. She sighed, giving him a friendly nudge back. I think I'm torn at the moment. I know I should focus all my time and effort on something really important right now, but someone is clouding my thoughts and I'm not sure what to do. Not quite believing that it is happening. Was she talking about him? Adrian? Or was this regarding the B word? This was his chance to ask. By any chance, does this someone have anything to do with Buttercup? He hoped that sounded as casual as it had in his head. Averting his gaze from her, he took another sip. The sour followed by the sweetness was growing on him. From the corner of his vision, he could see her slowly nodding her head. That was a bit random of me. To practice on you, that confession, I mean. I'm a little embarrassed by it, to be honest. Don't be. I'm here for you, Marinette. I'm your friend. That word was getting difficult for him to swallow and becoming lodged in his throat. But can I ask, did you ever confess to Buttercup how you feel about him? The words... The ones straight from your heart were beautiful, princess. No, which is why I'm suddenly confused. Her words caused him to turn round and face her. To be honest, I never thought he'd like me that way, but recently he's acting differently towards me, saying words I have been wanting to hear. That's, that's a good thing, isn't it? What's the issue? Well, now he was even more baffled. Well, I don't know. I don't... I don't believe that he suddenly feels that way towards me. But just before he... I had decided to... I need to focus my thoughts on something else. So, let me get this straight. You don't think Buttercup is being earnest and... Even if he is, you've decided to focus on something or someone else. I trust him. I think it's hard to explain, really. It's more like the line has become blurry and confusing. However, yeah, something else is more important. Than your feelings towards Buttercup? Can I ask? Who is Buttercup? He had said it. No taking it back. Oh, I feel foolish even saying this. Which is one of the reasons why I can't believe that he might. Marinette, I promise you can trust me. I want to help if I can. He tried his hardest to hold her stare as she stood at his eyes. He was drowning in hers. I know I can. She squeezed her eyes shut and then placed her hands over them. Ah, oh, but a cup, it's my friend. Adrian, she mumbled, but it was clear enough for him to hear. 
Buttercup is who? Adrian. The words inside his mind blurted out of his mouth before slamming his lips shut. Could it be? It's me? So, all those words? The true confession? Was about Adrian? His voice was barely a whisper. She groaned, turned her back before dropping her hands to pick up the pillow off the sun chair, then slumped into the seat, covering her face with the pink fabric. Yes, but there is no way Adrian. It feels the same way, and I didn't want to confess to him and put that kind of pressure on him, but saying that during the risky humor, there was a moment I was going to blurt out my feelings to him, but then Lila stepped in the way. Anyhow, he has enough on his plate without me adding to it. Plus, I don't know if I have... If I can act on my feelings at the moment. Why? Why? Um, <clears throat> because of this other thing? It's more important than your heart? Your feelings? Even if he did feel the same way and wanted to confess to you too? He crouched down next to the seat and dared to look at her eyes poking over the cushion. No, no, it's not possible. The cushion shot back up again. And yeah, I can't explain why, but it's bigger than my heart. It's bigger than anything else. She paused, lowering down the pillow and stared at him. Thanks, Kitty. For what? She continued to lower the pillow until she was cuddling it against her chest. You've helped me to decide. My heart can wait. I've waited this long. I can wait longer. And if he does truly feel a fraction of the love I have for him, then maybe he will wait for me too. But, at the moment, I can't get distracted. Wait, this wasn't what he had in mind to happen. She loved him, but was willing to put it to one side for something else? Really? You're willing to continue to wait? You love Adrian that much? And waited how long? I had said it in the confession how I had the wrong impression of him at the start, but when he showed me how kind he was by giving me his umbrella, it clicked for me. So you see, I've loved Adrian for years, one-sided, never believing he might. Until recently, he showed signs of wanting you back and you're willing to wait? How was this even possible? It's a question of if he is willing to wait. But if you don't tell him how you feel, won't he simply see it as rejection? She let out a defeated laugh that broke his heart. Oh, do you know how many times he has unintentionally rejected me? Referring to me as his friend. And I still love him. I get that. Oh, how much of a fool he'd been. Marinette loved him. And he loved Ladybug. He now loves Marinette. And yet, what should that mean for his feelings towards Ladybug? But at what point do you walk away? I'm not walking away from Adrian. She quickly defended. I will always be there for him. But at the moment, I wish I could tell you, the torment clear on her face, knowing you would understand, and yet, but what could it be? What was more important than love? Is it school? Is it family? She shook her head to the point her forehead now rested on top of the pillow, still nestled against her chest. I can't say... He lovingly placed his hand on her shoulder. Then I won't press further. 
He paused. Can I ask one last question? Sure, Kitty. She mumbled into the fabric. What if Adrian confessed to you? Would you tell him the truth? Like you told me? Or push away and say you're only friends? She inched her head up and peered at him through her lashes, causing his heart to skip. What do you think I should do? Tell him the truth? From what you've told me, he's not a fan of lies. You've always told him the truth, and this way, there's still hope. You're forgetting one thing, Kitty. Adrian would have to feel the same way and confess first, and I don't see that happening. Nevertheless, you will always hold a place in my heart, and once I have dealt with this issue, then... Then I hope. Tears began to cascade down her face. Cat held out his arms and circled her into a tight hug as he stroked his fingers through her hair and down her back repeatedly. What could be more what could be so important to Marinette that would stop her from being with Adrian? Him. What is more important than her own heart? which sounds like it's breaking over this decision, along with his own. There was only one other person who was that strong and selfless. His breath caught in his throat. He had thought before that maybe Marinette could be. That she was... Ladybug? But he could see how dealing with Monarch... The pressure on LB at the moment at getting back all the miraculous was greater than her heart. Oh, his mind was practically exploding like an atom bomb with these new revelations. Adrian was Buttercup. Marinette loves Adrian. He loves Marinette. She is Ladybug. Ladybug loves Adrian? Him. He was the special guy? Thank you, Kitty. Her tears had subsided, but her eyes were red and puffy. You know, you mean the world to me too. You are always there for me when I need you. I will always be there for you, Marinette. Always. You can talk to me anytime. That goes for you too, Kitty. She smiled bopping him on the nose. Was it really her? I know things are hard for you too, at the present. What with Monarch? So pop by any time you fancy some more lemonade and a chat. My balcony is always open to you. Thank you, princess. I will, but for now, I had better be going. He couldn't stop himself from taking a hand and kissing the back of it lightly. Best of luck with Buttercup. He's blessed to have someone like you love him, and I'm certain he feels the same way. He winked at her playfully as he slipped a hand out of his and pushed him back. Night, Kitty. Sweet dreams, princess. Adrian collapsed on his bed, thoughts bouncing around inside his head. So, are you glad, knowing that you're Buttercup? Plag smirked, shoving an extra wedge inside his mouth. I don't know what to do, Plag. Marinette loves me. I love her. But she's also... Ladybug. He heard his crummy splutter and choke on his mouthful. <coughs> what? N no? What? W wait! She's not! <coughs> Why? No! Plag was now floating above Adrian, staring down at his face. You can't say anything, kid! Oh, Tiki's gonna kill me! I won't say a word. But what else could be more important for Marinette than following her heart? Except finding all the Kwamis and defeating Monarch. But the question is, are you going to tell Marinette how you feel? 
I don't know. I do know I have loved her just as long and waited this long. I know I will always love her. I can wait a little longer and in the meantime, I will be everything to Marinette, including being the best friend I can possibly be. And for Ladybug, the best partner. Kid, that's a lot to hold on to. Are you sure you can handle it? Plague held a strange look of concern on his face. Yeah? Yeah, he nodded his head with confidence. Because it's no less than what Marinette has been doing all this time, and she deserves so much more. Plus, I have hope. I have a light at the end of the tunnel. A piece of carambear dangling from a stick? Adrian rolled his eyes and wondered about his little buddy sometimes. If you say so, Plague. But you know what? For the first time, I know I'm not alone in this. She loves me and told me she always will. And when the time is right, I will confess my love to her and that I am her kitty. But now is not the time. Okay, so does that mean you're not going to try and kiss her again in the morning? Plag grinned and his eyes went wide, looking rather strange without eyebrows. Plag, go and eat some more cheese. Adrian rolled over and buried his face into the blanket and cried. All the emotions from the past few hours are washing over him. Oh, why? Why was this the best and worst news all at once? He discovered Marinette loved him and that his princess was his lady. Yet, he had to wait. He would. For as long as it would take. For the right time to be together. In the meantime, he would simply show her how much she means to him. Every day. Thank you for listening to Buttercup is Who? I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you, if you did, smash that like button. It really does help the channel. Comment down below what you think of it. Um, I love to read your comments. And make sure you subscribe so you do not miss out on these lovely stories and series and other one shots to come. And a massive shout out and thank you to all my patrons and for their support as well. It means the world to me. So I hope you are all good and I will speak to you soon. Bye.